Hey mamas, this is Lissa with Mama Wears Mini Hats. And apparently we're gonna do this one more time. As I said, my name is Lissa. This is Mama Wears Mini Hats, where we talk all things motherhood, even the hard and crappy stuff. And when I say hard and crappy stuff, I mean really hard and crappy stuff. We have talked everything from high-risk pregnancies and not sleeping because of children having sleep apnea to child loss and different things like that. If you have any motherhood hardships, this is the place for you apparently because we're just doing it all. We're just getting it all out there. Anyway, my name is Lissa and I am a mother to four. Well, technically I'm a mother to five, two babies in heaven, three earth side. And I have some news. So remember back forever ago where I started documenting having a plus size, positive, healthy pregnancy, which really quickly became a high risk pregnancy and then became have a baby in the NICU and then became all sorts of crazy. And you didn't see me for a year. Um, well, much to, oh, I don't know what's going on back there, guys. FYI, you're getting what you get. How I am, it's how I am, how you are is how you are. That's what we are here. Okay, this is not, if you are looking for the perfectly curated picture of motherhood, let's go on and head on to the next channel because that's not this. I am a wife to an amazing husband, Cameron, and we have our three littles still earthside with us. Um, I had an early miscarriage between the oldest two, and then we lost our 13 month old last year in September. We just found out that we are Drum roll, expecting again. And yes, I know how that happens, but we done just about everything to make sure that didn't happen again. So we're kind of shook. Yeah, and that's not to make light of anyone who is trying to conceive or is having a hard journey of that. My heart and my prayers go out to you. If there's anything I have learned through this past year and a half, it's that there are some things that you just don't understand until you're in it. And I fully admit that is one aspect of motherhood that I cannot understand. But my heart breaks for people who are in that position. So we found out that we are expecting our sixth baby, hopefully our fifth living baby, hopefully our fourth forever baby. I am, as of today, seven weeks and four days. I found out very, very early and I'm apparently going to try and do this whole plus size pregnancy thing again because let me just tell you, trying to lose weight in the NICU was not happening. Between hospital food and the cafeteria and just sitting holding my daughter as long as I could for as long as she was here, that did, losing baby weight never happened. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look, and, and that's why this hair is what it is, but that's why I said you get what you get. And this is what you get. So yeah, pregnant again, seven weeks. This time I decided I was gonna document it again. And I'm kind of coming at it from a little bit of a different standpoint. I fully believe that you can have a plus size pregnancy that's healthy. I had three of them, that was fine. And I've also learned that sometimes there are things about being plus size that do open up the doors for additional complications or for not additional complications, but that may make you prone to additional complications. So having walked the path of a high-risk pregnancy that then became an early, extremely preterm delivery and a over a year long NICU stay, I'm doing everything I can in this pregnancy to have a very healthy plus size pregnancy. I'm not trying to lose weight while pregnant, although I have been cleared by my doctor that if that happens, that's not a bad thing. But I have made some changes because one of the things that, that caused me to deliver early was preeclampsia. And preeclampsia is something that if you are over the maternal age of 35, or I'm 38, if you are obese, which I am, if you have a history of like high blood pressure, I had gestational hypertension with my third. These things all add up to being greater risk factors to have preeclampsia again, especially now that I've had it, like that's even more so. So I'm doing everything I can to try and protect the slobine and to give it and I the best chance at a full-term pregnancy. 
So some of the things I've decided to do, I am going plant-based. Um, we started that a few days ago, so far doing good. I'm getting over a, a sinus infection and cold. I am also walking at least five days a week. I'm aiming for every day, at least a mile, just to have that good, healthy activity. And I will say that as I've been approaching this pregnancy and making sure to take it as healthy as possible, so far this has been my smoothest pregnancy. This has probably been one of my easiest so far pregnancies. I am seven weeks, three days today. I've not had any morning sickness, which freaked me out at first, because if you remember any of my previous birth stories or my last one, I get really sick normally, like six weeks to 26 weeks, like just all day vomiting. It's just, it's bad. Even on like Bongesta or some kind of uh, medicine. This time I'm doing everything I can to get ahead of that. And I'm just really grateful so far that it hasn't manifested in a, in everyday life. I've had a decent amount of energy. I've had some fatigue and stuff, but it hasn't been too bad. My plans are, I'm going to be doing a weekly update on the pregnancy then i will try and do even just a weekly update on what it is like doing this plant-based um we are transitioning our kids plant-based as well just because we with everything that happened with our daughter there was some stuff that came up that may or may not be genetic issues and it looks like our second our daughter everly may have some of the same i don't know like we look at her blood work and it looks kind of similar to Jubilee's did. So we just wanna make sure that we're helping her avoid any potential for any of these things. So far, there's not been any answers. We're gonna be doing some genetic testing with her as well. Things like enlarged spleen, heightened liver enzymes, uh, heightened lipid count, even though like, seriously, if you look at my daughter, she's healthy, she's not overweight, she's not, you know, doesn't make any sense. So we're just trying to take some steps to make sure our family is as healthy as possible. It's not about weight loss, although I'll be honest, for me, I am not at a weight that I'm happy with. I've been, you know, I mean, I've never been skinny. I'm not trying to be skinny. Back in 2020, I had been on a weight loss journey. I got down into the 190s and I was the happiest I've ever been. I had a lot more energy for playing with my kids, for just being a mom, all that kind of stuff. Like, I was confident, not that I'm, I mean, I'm a pretty confident person, let's be real, but, I know that that was a much happier physicality for me. I'm not looking to be skinny, but I would like to get back to kind of to where I was with that. Obviously during pregnancy, not the time for that. So that's down the road. But I just wanted to give that as a full disclosure. I don't, I'm not, everyone has to make the best choice for them. I'm not telling people that you have to lose weight. That is a decision for you and your doctor. I am not telling you if you are pregnant that you should lose weight. That is between you and your doctor. I am just saying, based on my history and my experiences, these are changes that I have made to set myself up to have the healthiest pregnancy possible and to avoid the repeat of what happened last time. I'm an open book. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'm really happy to talk about it. I want to document it and show people because I know it can be daunting, especially when you're pregnant. You don't feel good when there's all this stuff going on to make those kind of changes when you're just like, I just want to get through the day. I just want to get through the day. So yeah, that's why I'm documenting all of this. And additionally, through all of this funness in the last year and a half, I am actually starting to become a doula, which I'm really excited about. It's something that I've wanted to do for the past couple of years because again, as many kids as I have, and I have been blessed now to have just about every pregnancy experience in the book. I've had unmedicated hospital. I've technically, I've had an induction. I've technically had an epidural that didn't kick in, but I got it. So I know what it's like to get an epidural. Um, I had a C-section, an emergency section. So I've kind of done it. And this one will be a C-section because of um, where I had to have the incision with my micro preemie. So um, I've had perfectly healthy babies. I've had a extremely preterm one pound micro preemie. Like I've kind of done everything and my heart is really to help parents and families who are on their journey do that. So I will probably be throwing in some random videos about um, becoming a doula. Um, I'm hoping to offer some different services online as well as in person, because um, I obviously I can't be a doula for people who aren't in my Middle Tennessee area. But my plan is actually to focus on 
three different things eventually once I build up a clientele, and that is high risk, NICU anticipatory pregnancies, and plus size pregnancies. Because I've had a one of my births, I had a doula there, she was amazing. But I know for me as a plus size person, she was really tiny and it was a little intimidating to be like, please, I don't know if I want you to try. Like it, it, it added a level of discomfort having someone because all of a sudden I was very conscious of like, what if I'm too heavy for her or what, you know, like what if she's judging me, which I normally don't think about. Pregnancy does weird things to your brain. So my plan is also to specialize on really just positive pregnancy environments for birth so if that means people are plus size or whatever the case is really coming alongside and helping them to be as comfortable as possible and having had plus size births knowing what that entails so i'm going to be doing some birth education i'm going to be doing some videos about life in the nicu um, to help people understand and prep them so that kind of stuff will be available online um, and yeah so i'm inviting you all on that journey as well learning to become a specialized doula. I'm really excited about it. So I think that's it. If you made it this far, you're my favorite. I don't really have favorites. I don't know you. I wish I did. I would love to know you. So let me know who you are in the comments. Let me know if you're pregnant, if you're expecting, if you are plus size and expecting, let me know what you would like to have covered or if you have questions and I will do my best to research and tackle those topics for you guys. Okay. So that's it. Thank you again. And just so you know, if you are the only person who sees this video, it is well worth it. All right? Okay. Bye, my mamas. You got this.